all through hip hop, there's been plenty of fire names. People have the likes of Ghostface Killer, Tupac, 21 Savage, hell, even Kendrick Lamar and Kanye West, you know, just names respectively, sound pretty cool. But if you sit up there and name yourself Mr. Cheeks, nigga, I got a problem with it. All the shit you could have named yourself with, all the shit you could have come up with, you said, Nah, uh, Mr. Cheeks it. That's I like Mr. Cheeks. Oh, tell him Cheeks. Tell him what to do, Cheeks. What the fuck is a Mr. Cheeks? If I was to ever have somebody come in my car and say, hey, yo, let me get the ox real quick, and say, oh, what you finna play? And they say, Mr. Cheeks, I'm kicking him out the car. Hey, yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Cardi and Kai. Today we back with another video, man. I'm looking at some of the worst rap names in hip hop history. And as you can tell from the intro of the video, Mr. Cheeks is gonna be one of them. That's the first one we're gonna look at. Cause again, why in God's name would you name yourself Mr. Cheeks? It's not really too much of this video, man. I got about five other people I'm gonna look at in total. But of course, if you're rocking with content like this, man, I really appreciate you hearing the like and subscribe. You hit the channel out and uh, definitely hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers as the first big milestone. And I'll have some coming from there. Y'all let me know. But hey, look. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight to this video. Debuting in 2001, Mr. Cheeks really came onto the scene with an album called John P. Kelly that kind of put everybody on like the, uh, the the lights of Mr. Cheeks. And he had one hit single called Lights, Camera, Action. I don't know if you ever, I've never heard it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna listen to this shit right now. What, what's this looking like? And I'm burning something, foodies dance around a nigga, and I'm killing one. Off the top of the stairs, and I'm killing one. Oh, hell no, I swear to God. It there's not I shouldn't have been a hit single to be honest with you. Honestly, if you ever hop in my vehicle and ask if you can play some Mr. Cheeks, you're getting thrown out the window for real. But again, Lights Camera Action was like the one hit song that he had. And I looked at some YouTube comment sections. There was like, oh, do it to him, Cheeks. Don't, don't do it to him, Cheeks. I'm just like, man, why the fuck did you name yourself that? I, I, he was also in a in a group called the Lost Boys with a couple other people named Freaky Ta uh, and, and a couple other people. And they didn't really do that much as far as like a rap career, but Mr. Cheeks was a was somewhat known rapper back in back in the early 2000s, for some reason. And again, if you have, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a, a Mr. Cheeks CD, I need you to comment down in the section down below. I don't think anybody's gonna comment to be honest with you that at least, because why that why would you have that? But if you do, I really need to know because why would you have that? Now this next person is someone we all know. However, a lot of you might not know what his name used to be. I present to you Titty Boy, aka Two Chains. For some reason, Two Chains before he was Two Chains was Titty Boy, and he dropped a hell of mixtapes under the name Titty Boy for whatever reason. Again, I'm not really sure why you would name yourself Titty Boy of all names. Like he he, he went to he went to play basketball out of college. I know he's not dumb. So I just don't understand why he would name himself Titty Boy. Upon further research, I've now come to the conclusion that Titty Boy came from his mom, who he was being spoiled from and was an only child being breastfed. So do whatever with that information you will. Again, it's just very strange that Two Chains, I think Two Chains is a pretty fire name. Like I'm wearing Two Chains right now or Two Necklaces, but still. Two Chains is a pretty fire name, but like, thing I'm glad he switched that because Titty Boy was just not it. I, there's no reason you should ever hop into somebody's car and ask, "Can I play some Titty Boy?" Because you, you, that's not a good idea. It's not a good look. You know, I said that he debuted a lot of mixtapes under Titty Boy, but he debuted a lot. What the hell? Look, it got Trap a Je Trap a Jelly, Trap a Vel. That's horrible. Trap a Jelly. And they got Ice on Me. A, a the Lean Lantern. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why is this nigga the Green Lantern? I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm thank thank God he changed himself to Two Chance because Two Chance got some fire music on features. Cause I don't think he get any features under the name Titty Boy. No, no cap. The third on the list is someone I really don't know much about. However, he was kind of an older rapper by the name. A special Ed. Edward K. Archer, aka Special Ed, des decided to name himself Special Ed back in 1988 or something like that. And again, I just don't understand why you would just sit up there and name yourself some as remedial, no pun intended, as Special Ed. Now, maybe it could be kind of fire if he, he was actually like special in that regard. <laughs> I'm not laughing. That's not funny. But it'd be kind of funny if he was actually like special and named him so special Ed, because that'd be hard. Like that's a hard name. Like 
I like if th that's the case, then that's fire. I could not confirm nor deny the allegations that he might be special by the name of Special Ed. However, I'm just gonna run with that because I think that makes me feel better, and that's just kind of hard if they actually he actually was. And just a really random fact: he was in the Cosby Show as a fictional rapper called JT Freeze. Somehow, I, I guess Bill Cosby saw Special Ed and was like, "Hey yo." Ed, special, you real special. Come on down to the show. We gonna get you. Mm -hmm. And to mo the most shocking news to me, he's still making music. Like, he just dropped some like last year, like 2021. So we gonna we gonna check this out too by by Mr. Special Ed. <laughs> You know, I have no idea if this is even special Ed because this is not even. This is like a, a he just featured on the song or if it's him and a couple other people. But yeah, so far it's not bad. It's looking kind of hard. Like the guy who rapping right now kind of sounds like Freddie Gibbs, to be honest with you. And I like Freddie Gibbs. I'm I'm gonna start a Twitter fan page called the Freddie Gibbs Fan Club, and it's gonna be associated with me. So if do you ever see that account pop up and doesn't have my YouTube on it, it's not me and. Report that account because it's all that idea for me. But Special Ed got a couple of albums, Revelations, Legal, Youngest in Charge. So he had a pretty decent little career and a couple of songs with a million views. So people was really rocking with Special Ed back in the day. But I just don't know why you would name yourself Special Ed unless you wasn't special. You feel me? Now this next person on the list is, is pretty well known. He's probably the most well known besides 2 Chains on this whole list to be honest with you. And that's Bow Wow. I'm not gonna lie, I do not like the name Bow Wow. Bow Wow just sounds ass. Oh, bow Wow, 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 Wow, this song is shit, holy f You know, going on by names alone, he probably is the most successful at this whole list, so I can't really hate on him too much. Because I'm, but you, normally I would say 2 Chains would be the most successful, however, he's more known as 2 Chains instead of Titty Boy. So with the shitty name, uh, Bow Wow is probably the most successful on this entire list. So again, I can't hate on it too much, but... That's just a personal crap. I just did not like the name Bow Wow. Cause again, it just sounded weak as shit. Like I not about to go bump no Bow Wow next no 50 cent. You feel me? Like it just it didn't correlate. It wasn't like a I'll go play some 50 cents of Snoop Dogg and then Bow Wow. It, that just doesn't make any sense to me. This last person, ladies and gentlemen, is probably the one I had the most trouble trying to find only because if I Googled it. I had to be in incognito mode, put it like that. I kid you not, there is a battle rapper by the name of Deep Throat Thug. Dog, the jokes write themselves. Why are you a battle rapper where they, all they do is make fun of you? All of they All they do is trying to find shit about you, to rap about you, to diss you, to make you look shitty and stupid and ass and doodle shit, and you just giving them, but you just giving them free points. D Throat Thug is a female battle rapper out of the UK. So again, I'm not gonna speak for the entire United Kingdom. However, what the fuck y'all got going on over there? Why do you? Why would you ever think it was okay to name yourself D Throat Thug? and go into a profession where all they do is to try to find things to make fun of you about. It it doesn't matter, this is the crazy part, it doesn't matter how good of a battle rapper you could ever be, you will forever be known as Deep Throat Thug, and that's that's all I gotta say about that. You know, upon doing the research for this video, I kind of forgot how good 2 Chainz Loki was, especially on features like Mercy and shit like that. So I'm probably gonna listen to that in a little bit. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you rock with the video, I really appreciate you hitting the like and subscribe. Again, uh, hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to make it to 100 subscribers. And of course, if you're rocking a reaction like this, let me know in the comment section down below so I can have a part two out. Because trust me, there is plenty more just hot boo-boo leakage rap names and rap history. And there's plenty more to come. And so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here.